Hey YouTube, this is uh, Earth Incarnate, and I'm going to be bringing you my first deck review. I know it's been a long time since I've done the opening, say I do one every week. Well, guess what? I'm saving up, and the new set, uh, Diamond and Pearl, came out today. And it has a lot of good cards in it, so I'm getting a box of that very soon. And that's going to be my next opening, so right now we're just going to go deck reviews. I should be getting in between this, this week and next week, depending on when my local store gets it, so let's start. We got 18 fire energies and 30 ground energies. And these energies are here because the deck is fire ground. And it's pretty really simple. I have a bunch of fire cards. Infernape, Megamordor, Rapidash, and Ninetales, and for ground I got Rhyperia, so. Now next with the supporters, I'm trying to go kind of fast, but we'll get through it, so. Supporters got two baby searches, want to get more of those, but don't have them. Roseanne's Research. Bucks Training for supporters, only four in this deck, don't really need that many, it works pretty well just on its own. Next for balls I got the Great Ball and a Premier Ball. Premier Ball. Two potions and two switches. I'll explain the use for these later on and these just to heal up. Alright, now to get to the main part of the deck. We got Pokemon. And I'm gonna start with the main card of my deck, Infernape, and all his little forms. So let's start with the Chimchars. We've got one from the first Diamond Pro set, the three dash, two energies, and I get the discard fire energy, which is always good. In my deck, of course. And for two energies with this reverse hollow uh, Chimchar from Majestic Dawn, I do 40 damage with lunge. And although if I get tails, it does nothing. Fury swipes 10 times the number of heads, flip three coins, which is pretty good. Another Chimchar from Majestic Dawn. And finally Chimchar from the Platinum series. Two two energy, twenty damage, no drawbacks. And it's a good starting if you start with him. Alright. Now we got Monfernos. We got two Monfernos, one reverse hollow, one not. From the Majestic Dawn set. They do thirty damage and burn or thirty plus thirty. If I get heads on a flip. These guys do in 30 or 60 for one or two energies. It's always good. Just second, middle of the game. Hit hard. Next. I've got this Monferno from the Diamond and Pro, uh, Platinum. My bad. It does flip a coin, discard a fire energy. And takes one energy and does 40 damage. In my deck, there's no drawback. Because even if I get tails, one more energy in the graveyard. One more energy for Infernix level X. So he's really good, just on his own. Last one I got one from the original Diamond and Pearl. It does 30. And search I, I this one is okay, but he's not that great in my deck. I search my discard pile for energy and attach it to my Monferno. So the next turn I flip through coins, use free swipes, do 20 times the number of heads. All right, now getting to juicy stuff. It's start with the worst Infernape in my deck, and, again, I play, but I don't play that competitively, so, I use Infernape for each one I got. I got the first one from Diamond and Pearl, Flare Blitz, I get to discard all energies for 90 damage, it's pretty good. I get them out, third turn, 90 damage, trace the graveyard. And, I got this Infernape from Jessic Dawn. Mega Bravo discards all energies attached to them. This deck is 40 damage times the number of times the amount of fire energy discarded, which is always good in my deck. Again, in front of level X, in case you don't know what his effect is, you take eight fire fire energies from your graveyard, put them back in your deck, then you shuffle. So it takes energy in the graveyard in order to do 150 damage. But with all the cards in my deck, it's really easy to get that. In front of level X, in case you don't know what his effect is, you take eight fire fire energies from your graveyard, put them back in your deck. Then you shuffle. So, 
it takes energy in the graveyard in order to do 150 damage, but with all the cards in my deck, it's really easy to get that. Alright, now we have the Inferno from the Platinum series. Rushing Flames, you discard as many fire energies as you want attached to them, and then you flip a coin for each of those. Every head you get, you do 80 damage. So that piles up quickly if you have five energies attached to them. You discard four of them, so you can still use his attack. And guess what? You get heads on all of them, you do 240 damage, which is a lot to take out a Waylord. Now, the main card in my deck, Infernape Level X. I explained this attack before. Flare up, return eight fire energies from your grave to your deck, and do 150 damage. Now his burning head pocket power. That is really good because you look at the top three cards of your deck, and then you pick one. Put that one in your head, the other two go to the graveyard. So, you pick up three, two energies, one, any other card. You take that card, discard two energies. Alright. Now, his, the most, the second most important card in my deck. It is, right here, your family. And we're going to start with, the right horn. It's just simple, the one from the original Diamond Pearl set. He's the only one you can get. It's two, day, uh, two energies, take down. 3 damage to your opponent, 10 damage to yourself. Next, one second turn needs out, evolve them into Rhyodon. In reality, the point of this, you don't even need to equip any energies. That's the good part about it. Because, you'll see why. Once he evolves into Rhyperior, you can equip energies or not. You don't have to. Earth Fisher, once during your turn, when you play Rhyperior from your hand to, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may discard the top 3 cards of your opponent's deck. That's always good. It takes away his opportunity to get something good. Or not. It depends. And here's where it gets really good. Right here, level X is hard crush. Attack. Takes no energies. Discard the top 5 cards of your deck. And you do 50 damage times the number of energies discarded. Note that it doesn't say ground energies. So if I discard 5 energies at the end, it does 250 damage. And really powerful. Why? I have the switches. Now you'll understand. I take the switch, the right barrier level X, and the Infernape level X. I have the right barrier out, do 250 damage, discard 5 energies. Next, I'll switch. Take out the right barrier, put in the Infernape. He has no retreat cost. Then, with Burning Head, and if I have an extra energy, 150 damage flare up. Then, since he has no retreat cost next turn, guess who's back? Right barrier? Right barrier hits for another 250 because later on in the game, you have no other cards in your deck except for energies. Because you keep returning them and returning them. So, 250, switch them out with the second switch. That's when Infernape, you're doing 800 damage in 4 turns. I'd like to see someone survive that. And that's pretty much it. It for the main part of the deck. Now, it's other supporting cards that are not as important. But they still do pretty good. We have Magmora Family. Let's start with Magmi. Magmi, basically used for baby evolution to get Magmar. For 1 energy, 20 damage, 3 energies, 50 damage, and I discard an energy from Magmar. Good for an Infernape. Next, he evolves into Magmortar. Flame Drum, if Magmi isn't under him, you have to discard 2 energies. Or, if he is, it only does 180 damage. So, either way, it can be good. Then, I level him up. For Magmar level X. He discards two energies at any time, uh, every time he attacks and does 100 damage. So, yeah, he's another big hitter and discarding energy for Infernape. All my cards in this deck, the reason it works so well is because they link together. And that, if you construct them well, they'll work. If you don't, you'll die every time. Remember that, follow my guide, don't copy the deck exactly, and you'll end up a winner. Peace out.